Charis TV. I have the grace. You can't stop me. I'm sure you, you've been suffering going around churches. Don't think you've wasted your time to go there and there. You know, I was, I'll give you an example. But this example is touching my heart. There's a lady that came to us for one on one, she told us. Where is that lady? Uh, she, she wears specs. She's here. Today. She told me that. Uh, she told us. I was with Andres. Andres brought that lady to us. Andres Come out. Don't be afraid. I want to declare. Where is she? I'm seeing her now on the screen here. She's here. This lady told me something. I want to tell you that what this lady told me is what God told me. What this lady spoke, she doesn't know, but it's what God told me. I told my wife. Can you just speak what you told us? Don't cry, please. please don't cry, please. You know, is you, you are going to be an example of what God has told me. You are going to be an example. Please, someone stand behind it because I have the grace. I have the grace. No one can stop me. No one can stop me. Amen. I have the grace. I feel the grace. So that's why she's doing like that. But please, I wanted to talk. I came to Charis 2017. I didn't know the ministry. God showed me Mama and Papa in a dream. By that time, my life was a mess. Nothing was working in my life. My marriage was broken down. I couldn't even buy a car. I am an advocate by profession. <laughs> life care car profession. Advocate. Advocate. But I couldn't buy a car. I was so sick. I came here. I got sick. I came here. Men of God prayed for me. I was able to buy a car. I was able to buy a car. I got healed. And one day I was leaving a church going back home. And one lady said to me, I was giving her a lift. There's a branch of Charis where you are staying. You can go and attend there. I, I believe out of my own stupidity. I just decided to do it. And in 2018, going 2018, to this year, I lost everything. It's like the grace had left. Me. And God spoke to me. And he said, you have to come back to where I sent you. I came for one-on-one on, one on Thursday. I was so ashamed. I didn't know what to do. Prophet Andres uh, prophesied me. Prophet Andres, Prophet Andres. It, I told him it was like God had opened the book of my life before he him. He spoke exactly what was happening. And I went and I humbled myself. I said to Apostle. That I left Charis. And I went to another branch. I thought it was the same. But the apostle said something that with me. He said some people God sent them to this Charis. Because of the challenges that they are facing. That needs the anointing of this house. And I went back to God and I repented. You heard it. 
le mokwile she came 2017 o tlele 2017 healed a fola blessed a shufala and the marriage was shaking le nyalo le le shishinyeya everything came back ka o fela tsa boela sekeng as is an advocate as a key advocate you know she's an advocate key advocate but from there she said someone came motho mo a ta fita and from there o to a mo ya ba iki ba ile when she is there Halike we everything began to ka o fela tsa to monya melela disipila I love this God ke rata modimo sometimes when he want to he when he love you na go tshe dingwe modimo ha o rata ine o tshotshela o fe kotlonyaka wa o lukishisha e chasten you wa o lukishisha when she sees that she is losing everything ha bona re ka moka ka o fela dilo tshela o ka re dia sepela one of the thing that she has touched me was the issue ntwe ngwa tseleng ka yona ke uri ke thalo using the cash is losing the car ko lo ya sepela debts dikolotwa sije le nyalo le ya tuwa ka moka ka o fela i said go back modimo are boela morao can you see how grace work le a bona re gaogelo e bere ka jwang grace work that way grace gaogelo e shuma ka mogwao she felt like she has lost the grace ye na o kwele o ka re gaogelo ye la ituile she went to see address address to her that o ile bona address address ru yena that and that and that Gitele chele 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 tabata. And when he finish he brought her to me. Andres a fetsa motisa mgonna. And uh, Andres didn't want to tell people bad And, things. Andres ana go botsa batho dilo. Me I talk. Na ke a bolela. I say you. Ka re wena. You have lost the grace. O la thetse ke gaoela. So you decide on your own. O decide da wena o le ti. Tom cop. Tho ya wi wima. You decide on your own dom cop. Oh, you did your own na uli ti. So that when you go back, what how to wiela marao? Even when Satan come by his side, let Satan at to wiya ka moya wa hai. You make him to have dom cop. O ta dir Satan ye na be ye na o ba le dom cop, le tho yi e tata. So, my sister. Si si. You see because you have agreed you have <laughs> prophesied we now do it how it dilo che ka o fela that god told me many years ago we will start to work for you today we will start to work for you today we will start to work for you today that tomorrow we will kala le khone did i touch it no eh is the grace It is the grace. It is the grace. It is the grace. I say study to work. I say today. I say to watch and look at it. I say today. 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 I So the grace we have khawelo ye re neng le yona mo is the grace that you are receiving now ke khawelo ye le ya mogelang ana jwa tse receive that grace amogelang khawelo receive that grace amogelang khawelo i'm very happy for my sister today itabele kudukudu ka mata ka sesi what about you lena tell her what what is it what about you wena today is your day le le khono ke tshila lena can you think when you lose everything na hana ka moka di fedile di la theile and this lady we didn't say come to church aram mechara re itakeni no we are not that type are di usual but she was telling us even now pastor is calling me le ana jo no ba mphonela ba mphonela eh as and reason say pastor since two weeks e sa le ke tuwa le ke tshe pedi na ba mphonela i joked about it i said ha How can you call someone with good tips? O ka phone la jong motho a tsene nka ra di phone. And you tell them to come to church, come to church. O re ta ke re ke. The person will now lose everything you won't love the person. Motho o la thelo ka dilo ka o felo ka sa tlo mo ratile. He said what? Um she said uh, the pastor has been calling her. Uh, Are mo rote ba mo phone la. Two weeks uh, she was not going to church. Ke be ke tshe pedi yena sa tlo la ya ke re ke. No no no. What is it that we said? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say anything. Ara bolela silo. So this is the issue today that my sister by the grace of God. Ka khawelo ya modimo. Because she took a decision. Ka ru ke respecto. Khawelo yela. She has lost there. Ye ne la thile mola. Is recovered. E buye tshisikeng.
Listen, listen to this. Chelecha. This Satan has left you. Satan hula utuile. This is a year for you. Kengwa wa hawo. To receive the blessing you are crying for. Oro wama galeli chufa teche udi lelao. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I was here on the 27th of October. When Apostle called me out. Um, for those who were here will remember. Um, I had left Charis. And I took a decision to come back. And uh, on that day, Apostle delivered me. And he said to me, because I made a decision to come back, the grace that I lost there has been recovered. He also said that whatever I've been crying for this year, it will come to pass. After that deliverance, um, every time I came, I was able, I was opportune to get the sticker. The first sticker that I got on the 27th, uh, I had testified that I couldn't buy a car previously because of the divorce challenges that I went through and that situation. So I took that sticker so I, just a sale. I put it on the car that uh, Apostle had prophesied me before I left Charis. And Bazalani, God began to work. Uh, he just started to organize my life. I could feel that that grace has returned. I kept on receiving another sticker. I put, there was another car that during the divorce process, my husband didn't want to release the documents no. of the car. So the car was just there, but I was not using it. So the second sticker I took it I put it on that car um, the following sticker I remember it was mama who gave me the sticker and when she gave it to me she said to me she said your breakthrough has come immediately the following week the documents of that car came I have them here with me Now, one of the things that Apostle spoke about that he said that uh, really affected him was the issue of my divorce. It was not coming to an end. And when he said to me, whatever you are crying for will come to pass, I said, Lord, I want this divorce to come to an end this year. Uh, when I had come for one-on-one, -on -one, before that, uh, Prophet Andris spoke about it. Uh, there are some assets that your husband is trying to hide from you. That's why your divorce is not ending. So I'm here to tell you, Bazalwane, uh, that for me returning here, today I stand here and say, my divorce has ended. I give glory to God for Mama and Daddy. When you started this ministry 20 years ago, I ministry 20 years ago. Mudimu had people like me in mind. God had people like me in his mind. Those who have suffered shame. Baba The rejected ones. Baba uh, Apostle always says that Charis is a place that uh, 
direct you back to your destiny. I thank God so much that I made that decision to come back. I was not doing it for anybody. I was doing it for myself. Because I had seen what God had done for me when I was here. And I want to give glory to God for my mind, Papa. Thank you for your sacrifices. You didn't know me but you welcomed me back you had compassion on my situation today I stand here church and say I've seen my jubilee what was taken from me has been returned back unto me I thank God for wiping away the shame from my eyes. The last one was what happened on Sunday. When Apostle reprimanded my daughter. So I just saw the grace. I saw God fighting for me through this ministry. I'm so thankful. I want to say to all of you, Charis is not a church that you come to because you want friends. It is a church where you come and sit and seek the face of God. And when you do that, God will fight for you. Today I stand with my children and I'm ready to rebuild my life. And I thank God I'm not rebuilding empty-handed. Thank you. Oh, this one is the one that was prophesied. Ah. So now, you brothers, now, can you see sister? Ah. If I'm you, ah. Because you people here, somebody left here, look at the car. Brother, Ah, this brother said, <laughs> ah. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, the way I got this car, it was really just amazing. For those who have gone through divorce, they know it's not easy to buy things when you are in the process of divorce. But Apostle... Just spoke a word and say, sister, I see you driving a car. Apostle Banoriki Bonore Lakoloi. And a week later I went to the bank. I was open to them. I said, I'm still in the process of divorce. And they didn't even ask me questions. A few hours later they said, Come and sign the papers. So it's it's the grace. It's really just the grace of God. And I continue to thank Papa and Mama. I'm truly grateful. What's the name of the car? It's a Nissan X-Trail. Nissan X-Trail. It's a 2.5 engine. 3.5 engine. A 4x4. 4x4.